Fishing is a burning thing. <laughs> Let's stop this before we get a copyright strike, you feel me? In today's episode of EPF Remarks, we're actually going to talk about some pretty important fishing trips that I did this summer. Very selfishly, I guess, without shooting any YouTube videos for the channel, right? It is extremely important that we actually talk about these because everyone needs to be on the same page as the Tennessee, as the upcoming Tennessee episodes make it to the YouTube channel. But before that, just a brief reminder, brief reminder that this Friday, September the 9th, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the 1.3 inches EPF Mino is going to drop at www.eurotackle.net, right? So you can go there, score some of those, right? Maybe even get yourself one of these beautiful shirts too, right? That is already available at the Eurotackle website. And you know, I'm just going to leave the promo code here at the back, right? Extreme Full of Fishing. You can apply during checkout for 10% off because I know for a fact that a lot of you folks are going to get some of the juicy EPF minnows, huh? So, all right, I'm going to leave the index over here as always. And as you can see, we're going to talk a little bit about the Pompano Beach, Florida trip that I did back, you know, in the days, right? Back in the summer, early the summer. And also the Atlantic City, New Jersey trip that I did down there too. We're also going to talk a little bit about the upcoming YouTube fishing videos. So you all have an idea, right, of all the juiciness that is about to be presented to you, right, on this wonderful YouTube channel. So, hey, without further delays, as always, let's get right into it. Oh boy, oh boy, bear with me, okay? Bear with me because this is going to be very, very technical. There are way too many things for us to talk about in such a short amount of time. But what must be done, must be done, right? For the sake of the folks here on the channel who really enjoy the live listing, the Pokemon hunt, the multi-species and the species hunting and stuff like that. So... Back around the end of July to the beginning of August, right, of this year, I went down with my parents down to Pompano Beach and, you know, we rented this Airbnb that it was super cool. It was right, we had the Intracoastal right in our backyard, right? So we caught a bunch of different species of fish right from our backyard. We did, we did some catch and cooks down there, right, meaning that we harvested some fish and we took it back and we made some dishes out of it overall it was a wonderful 10 days pretty much down there just spending time with my mother and my father and like i mentioned in a previous video right creating memories instead of creating contents right that being said now i am creating the contents <laughs> so uh, let me just give you an update of what happened during this trip in terms of fishing we landed a total, oh, by the way, when I say we landed, right, I am talking about what I landed down there, excluding the species that my father and my mother landed down there. They did land some species, okay, pretty cool species down there, like a sea robin and a mohara, right, that I didn't really land down there. I am not including those in this list of stats that I'm giving you right now. After all, the annual list is like my annual list, right? So this includes only the different species that I have caught down there. I like to use the pronoun we so that you get included in the mix too, right? So we <laughs> landed 47 different species of fish in nine days of fishing for a total of 351 fishes, right? And as you can see, I'm using the plural here, fishes, and not fish, because again, we landed 47 different species of fish, right? All right. Uh, two lifers showed up during that trip. 
One was the Triple Tail, the Lobotes, Surinamensis. Uh, it was my catch, uh, my lifer number 382. And very surprisingly, that one actually came out right from the backyard of our Airbnb. That fish was just floating like a banana, you know, down the canal, right? Super beautiful colors in the juvenile version. And, you know, I saw it put a piece of shrimp right in front of it. Pow! Fought really good, landed it. I was super excited about that. The other lifer that showed up during the strip was the round scared, the Decapterus punctatus, that was lifer number 383. That was a day that I took my parents to the Pompano International Pier, right? I was just using the sabiki. Oh, it was a wonderful day of sabiki fishing. And that particular catch, the round scared, was like the only one of that species that showed up there that day, right? Which was actually fascinating, right? I thought it was going to be more common. It turned out to be a pretty rare catch, at least for the day that I was down there. Now, I'm just going to give you folks, like I said, bear with me, okay? It's gonna be a long list right now. I'm gonna give you folks the 2022 annual list updates. If you watched the previous video on the YouTube channel, Washington DC episode two, you saw that you saw that we stopped at 102, which was the long nose gar, the lepizostils or sails, right? So we're going to go from 102 over until 130 because there were 28 new entries for this Pompano Beach fishing uh, fishing trip. Okay, so let's get started. 103 was the crested goby, the Lophogobius cyprinoides. 104 was the Atlantic stingray, the Hippanus sabinus. 105 was the lifer triple tail, the Lobotis surinamensis. 106 was the blue runner, the Caranx chrysos. Number 107 was the silver mohara, the Eusinostomus. Argenteus, number 108 was the Tom Tate Grunt, the Hyamulon Aurolineatum, 109 was the Scaled Herring, the Harengula Jaguana, or Haguana, the 110 was the Red Ear Herring, the Harengula Humeralis, 111 was the Bar Jack, the Caranx Huber, 112 was the scribbled leather jacket filefish, the Aluterus scriptus. 113 was the yellow jack, the Caranx Bartolomai. I would like to emphasize on this one, number 113, that just recently, right? Within the last year, I believe, uh, they changed the, the genus of the yellow jack, right, to Caranx, okay? Uh, the same genus as all the other jacks. I believe that it used to be... Uh, something different, something like Carangoides Bartolomai, right? So I wanted to point that out. Now back to number 114, that was our lifer round scad, the Decapterus punctatus. Number 115 was the round sardinella, the sardinella aurita. Number 116 was the yellow fin mohara, the jehes cinereus. Number 117 was the Atlantic Nittlefish, the Strongilura Marina. Number 118 was the large scaled spiny chick slipper, the Ele Eleotris Umbliopsis. Uh, shout out to that one as a matter of fact, because that was only my second ever large scaled spiny chick slipper down in Florida, right? I actually, I was fishing the, the same canal where I caught my first one ever. There was a little pipe, you know, over there. And I just put my little piece of shrimp on a very tiny hook, just right in front of the pipe, right? And from under it, whoop, came out, <laughs> came out the little slipper and took it, right? Sucked it in like spaghetti, son, you know? So that was a, that was a pretty cool catch, okay? Now, Continuing, 119, the orange is spotted filefish, Canterines pulus. Number 120, the band tail puffer, the Sphoeroides spengleri. Number 121, the yellow sea chub, Kyphosus incisor. Number 122, the smallmouth grunt, the Hyamulon 
Chrysargirium. Number 123, the Cocoa Denzel Fish, the Stegastes variabilis. Number 124, the South American Silver Porgy, the Diplodus argenteus. Number 125, the Yellowtail Snapper, the Osiurus Chrysurus. Number 126, the Blue Head, also known as the Blue Head Ras, the Thalassoma bifaciatum. Number 127, the Grey Triggerfish, Balistes capriscus. Uh, shout out also to 127, okay? It was one day that I was with my parents at the Pompano Pier. And, you know, we were just having fun catching all different sizes of blue runners, right? When suddenly a whole school of the trigger fish came over. Now, I don't know if you knew about this or not, but there is actually a minimum size for trigger fish down in Florida for you to take. And, you know, we actually caught a keeper that day that we brought back to our house airbnb and we cook it up right my mom ended up landing a trigger fish of her own too that felt really good so i was really really happy uh about that just just pointing it out right back to the list we're almost at the end okay we also got number 128 the great barracuda the sphiraena barracuda number 129 the red fin needlefish the Strongylura notata, and finally, number 130, the Gulf Toadfish, the Opsanus beta, which was also my second ever Gulf Toadfish, right? Which, very ironically, was caught in the Atlantic portion and not in the Gulf portion of the ocean, right? I would like to finish this entire thing, right, the Florida trip, by saying that uh, if I have any regrets from the trip, it was the one day that I was targeting Barracuda, right? As you folks saw, 128, right? was the great Barracuda. Uh, I was just fishing, chilling there. I had one fishing rod out freelining fish, right? Suddenly, on my ultralight rod, the Daiwakage, I got a bite and it was like a nice size pink fish. And uh, I kid you not, that was the biggest Barracuda that I ever saw in my entire life. I have no estimates as to what weight it was or anything. All I saw was my pink fish, you know, get into the surface of the water and the big ass barracuda, man, just went there, whoo, took the pink fish, right? I was using four pounds test line, but at the beginning it didn't swallow it, it just held. All I heard was my line going out, you know? The barracuda was just running with the pink fish in its mouth until obviously the line popped, right? And I was just like, oh. And for the rest of the day, that barracuda didn't really come back, you know? We just ate that pink fish. It was satisfied. Uh, its hunger was gone, right? So I guess it just moved to other places to kind of rest. But yeah, overall, this fishing trip down in Florida was fascinating. It was it was fascinating. It was phenomenal. I had a lot of fun down there with my parents, right? So once again, thank you very much for all your comprehension on, on this matter, right? Like I said, I went down there to create memories and not exactly create contents for the channel. But now, you know everything that I caught there, right? So we can move uh, to our next fishing trip. Don't worry. Don't worry. Thankfully, this next one over here is, is much shorter than the previous one, okay? It is an Atlantic City trip that we did uh, around uh, August 9th to like August 12th, something like that. We, we were only there for like three days and we fished like two days, right? So, uh, you know, I took my parents as a last trip here in the United States of America down to Atlantic City. They enjoy the casino scenery, right? The boardwalk. They are retired already. They like to do a little bit of gambling. I, I don't recommend anyone to gamble on this YouTube channel, right? It is, it is my family thing. So I was like, you know what? Before you go back to Brazil, why don't we go down to Atlantic City, right? <laughs> and we have some fun, you know? And that's exactly what would happen, right? So we went down there. We fished for two days. We caught 10 different species of fish for a total of 47 fishes. 
I also caught my lifer, broad striped anchovy, the Anqua Epsetus right 384 on the life list. I initially thought that those that I was catching down there were actually a bay anchovy, the Anqua Michele that I caught last year. But after I took a good look at the photos, right? And I mean, the stripe was so big and the features were so prominent. I counted the anal fin rays and the other things and uh, little you know, it turned out to be the broad striped anchovy, okay? I'm going to give you folks the 2022 annual list update right from 130 up and thankfully there were only five entries in atlantic city so that makes our life our lives much easier okay 131 was the atlantic silver side the menidia menidia 132 was our lifer broad striped anchovy the anqua Epsetus 133 was a northern puffer, the Sphoeroides maculatus. 134 was one of my favorite eating species, the spot croaker, the Leostomus zanturus. And 135 were just some snapper bluefish, the Pomatomus saltatrix, right? So, you know, I'm going to talk a little bit about this in the next section of this video. But starting with the upcoming videos on the YouTube channel, you all will really see, right, the annual number as 136, right, following the 135 that I just gave to you all. We're going to finish this video on a very good note. I'm going to give you all just a few updates on what exactly is coming on the YouTube channel, right? I'm actually shooting this video during Labor Day. <laughs> during Labor Day, today is September 5th, but I plan on releasing this video on September 6th, which is a Tuesday. And then Friday, September the 9th, obviously, there's going to be a video on the EPF Minnow coming out, you know, on the channel, right? It is our way of celebrating the third lure soft plastic microfinase, right? Collaboration between Extreme Filler Fishing and Eurotackle. If you went to the Instagram page, right? Mine or Eurotackles, you already saw the video that is there, right? With the lure in it. So you are already on top of her game if you did that. And if you haven't done that yet, what are you waiting for, right? Go there, check the preview. The hype is building up when we release it. I hope that you go out of your way to support your boy over here, support Euro Tackle, right? And get a few packs of the juice for yourself so that you can slay some fish around your area with that killer, killer vertical motion, okay? That being said, after the ninth, right, the EPF Minnow video, finally we're going to start dropping the videos of my most recent Murfreesboro Smyrna, right, aka Rutherford County, Tennessee fishing videos, all right? I did that trip just a little while ago, one, two weeks ago, and I caught plenty of different species of fish down there, including, obviously, you know, some lifers right so that is going to be very exciting four or five episodes and after that you know after that is gone and out of the way you all will finally be up to date like 2022 where we stand as for now right so i'm going to bring you all some local videos too right because i mean come on we're almost at 150 different species for 2022 we can't just give up we're almost at 400 different species, right? For our life list. I think I'm at what? 388? I can't just give up. We're gonna try to make that happen before the end of 2022. Hey, you with me on that? Comment below and let me know what you think. Can we do it? Well, I certainly hope so. So, <laughs> thank you very much for watching this video, okay? Uh, today is Labor Day. I know you will be watching this after Labor Day, but here's Extreme Full of Fishing wishing that you folks had a wonderful Labor Day weekend, right? Plus Labor Day, I'm pretty much laboring on Labor Day. I'm going to edit this video now and upload it on the channel. 
So I will see you all next time. Thank you very much for watching. Tidelines. And take it easy.